What's up YouTube? It's your girl Renee and I am back with another video and so I decided to do something that was a little more fun. Um, it is going into the summer months. Spring has sprung and I just am tired of doing neutrals all the time and then doing uh, like tons of dark colors. I have been using a lot of maroons and browns and bronzy gold colors which are fine and of course you can wear them year round. You know there's no strict rules to makeup or fashion or whatever. But I wanted to do something that was a little more colorful um, just because I wanted to get into the summer mood. And so I decided to do this makeup look with the nice like rich purples and um, kind of like kind of incorporating the maroon but not really. It's more geared towards the purple as you can see. And then my lip color which is really nice is a nice purpley color and it's this Milani one that I just recently picked up. Stay tuned for this makeup look if you... It, like want to recreate it or if you want to see how I achieved it um but yeah okay so I've already like pretty much um filled in my brows as much as I'm probably gonna do because I don't want to go OD and it's such a dark color when I bought this I had black hair so I try not to go in but then it just ends up being dark anyway because of the color so I'm gonna be using the NYX above and beyond full coverage concealer if you can see that don't you know um, but it is in color beige and I'm going to use that to like kind of carve out my brows and clean them up. So I'm using this flat kind of um, uh, eyeliner brush from e.l.f. And I love this brush because it really gets underneath those brows and cleans them up. So I'm just putting a little bit of product on there and just going to work it right underneath the brow. Yeah, I think I'm going to start on my eyes. So I'm going to just zoom you guys in a little bit so we can see the eye work um so for primer i'm going to be using the black radiance primer on my eyes and i'm just going to use like a little small amount that much and kind of tap it i have this la colors palette that i've used definitely several times in other tutorials and i love this palette it's called wildflowers i found the link before on amazon so i'll try to link that in the description below but um this is really nice and um, the colors are so pigmented so for my transition I'm actually gonna go into that um, Mac studio fix plus or not even plus but just studio fix color um, I think I talked about this before that I actually use this for um, my shadows and stuff um, because it's too dark for me and I don't really like it for my contour anymore so I kind of just concentrate it in my um, crease area I'm using this Sonia Kashuk brush and it's like a nice fluffy brush I'm just going to take only a small amount of this shadow kind of shake it off blow it a little bit and just kind of do some windshield wiper motions in my crease area just to give it a little depth and warmth to my eyelids and I'm going, I'm going to go in again and pick up more of that color oh so, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start using this nice like maroon and purple shades, those two, and use those in my crease and on my actual eyelid. So, hmm, trying to figure out which one do I want to do. I think I want to do more of that like maroony color in my crease. So I'm going to use the same exact Sonia Kashuk brush and just pick up. Okay, so for my lid, I'm going to go in with that purple color right here on the end. And um, I'm going to just go in. Let's see, what brush would I like to use? I think I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush. And I'm just going to pick up that purple color. And like I said, they're very pigmented, so you don't need tons on your brush. And... that color up um, on my lid 
I'm gonna go back in with this Sigma tapered blending brush and it's by the way the E40 brush I'm gonna go into that maroon color a little bit and just intensify that crease area So I look a little crazy right now, but it's okay. So I think I'm going to use a mixture of the Sephora foundation that I have. This is the um, Infusion, Tint Infusion foundation. And it's more of like an airbrush finish. Um, has this really cool applicator as well. I think I talked about this before. And I'm going to just apply, shake it up first, apply a small amount like on my face. And it has like some kind of oil on it too, which I am not a super fan of, but I do like the, the color that it gives to my skin. I'm going to also mix this color with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. And you can tell this one is a little bit darker. And because this is going to be like a full coverage kind of look, nice, kind of evenly distributed throughout my face. But what I'm going to go do is use my actual Real Techniques, um, what is this called? <laughs> the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Um, you can get this at your local drugstore. And I'm going to just go on top of that foundation just to make sure that it is completely blended in because I see some areas right around my eye and nose area that definitely need some extra blending okay so next I'm going to start on my actual concealing or um, not concealing I'm sorry, highlighting my face so um, what I've been using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to use this in color pure beige and I'm just going to apply this right under the eye and so I like this color I feel like it's really bright but I kind of want uh, for my concealer um, or highlight to be a little less bright and bold I like it to look a little more subtle so I'm gonna be using this Clinique um, beyond beyond perfecting foundation and concealer in one and I talked about this I think before too I got it from Sephora it was a sample um, so this is in 24 golden so it's definitely brighter um, than my actual foundation color my skin tone but then it is also not super light to kind of be a standalone highlight so I like mixing them together and I love the consistency of the um, Clinique because it's really creamy and rich and I feel like it's really full coverage so to blend those in I'm using the Real Techniques brush this is the expert face brush I love this brush because it really blends in everything well and it's so soft yet dense all at the same time so I'm just doing like patting motion um, just so I won't like swipe all the product away and also swipe my foundation away because it's still in the process of like drying right now. And I love the like, you know, really nice glow it's giving me. It's not oily. It's just a really nice like, like highlight brightness to my skin. I love it. Just gonna tap down the center of my nose <clears throat> just to kind of blend it into uh, my skin but I still want that nice highlighted color so only a little bit once my foundation starts coming together then my eyes are popping <laughs> because before it was looking a little gray okay so now that my contour or not contour I always say that my concealer highlight is pretty much done I'm gonna start on the contouring part of my face so what I usually do if I want to do like a really glam look or if I'm you know going out or whatever I use the covergirl queen collection it's in color um, ooh, true ebony and I use my um, Sonia Kashuk brush and it's this like really nice contoured angled brush and I just pick up a lot of that product and just concentrate it on the areas I want to contour right in the hollows of my cheeks 
and just kind of give it that nice dark look I want it to be like a gap like and then I just kind of do these downward strokes on my forehead to blend that and a little bit on my jawline not as much I mean because my face is pretty round I kind of like to contour that area as well to blend that out I'm gonna be using the elf brush it's the angled blush brush but I use it for my contour of course and I just kind of work it upward and like just like swift little flicks upward this brush is pretty dense but it's also really soft as well so you can blend it in but it doesn't like overly blend it it just gives you like that nice kind of you know chisel <laughs> next I'm gonna go in with the black radiance this is in rich mahogany yes <laughs> and I've been using this as you can see I use it all the time when I conceal um, or contour my goodness and so um, I'm gonna start with my nose actually and the brush I've been using is this early old uh, Sonia Kashuk brush that I've had like for years and it's kind of just like a tapered um, angled kind of thicker brush that you I think you should use it for your eyeshadow or I think it's for like concealer getting underneath there but I use it for my nose because I feel like it's a great um, and it's angled perfectly to like fit in there and so I start kind of towards the top and I start like kind of in my inner I don't really know like kind of in my eye area and then I work it down the bridge of my nose on the side <sighs> every time And so you can see it's like super chiseled right now and I like that it's like there and there but I'm definitely going to blend it out and so for also on top of my uh, cream concealer contour that I just used I'm going to use this brush this is from um, Ulta and I think it was a part of a set and I just kind of use like the flat side of it just like swiping it right on top of that product so it's like right there and I just kind of press it into the hollows of my cheeks and just work it back and forth. And it really like deepens and then I just kind of blend it. Okay, my camera shut off because it was overheating, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I've contoured my face around my forehead and also my chiseled my cheeks and all that stuff my nose as well and so I like to use this brush this is brush it's from Marshalls however I've been trying to look for it online to like see if they have more or you know a whole huge collection and I can't find them but it's by Urban Glow so if you can find them let me know and put it in the uh, messages so I can read it but this is their stippling contour brush um, and what I like to use this brush for is actually to blend so I'm just gonna blend my um, highlight concealer and my contour color kind of together on my forehead just so it won't be like concealer and then you know contour <clears throat> I'm going to actually go in with my translucent powder and this is the baking time so I'm just gonna start um, setting the face and I'm going to use my Roll Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge and just press it into the translucent powder. And the translucent powder I'm using is the Air Spun. And I like the Air Spun because it is um, extremely finely milled and it doesn't like super stick to the skin. And so, whoa, right? I'm going to use first the Mega Plush Volume by Maybelline Mascara, looks like this, and I'm using it in, I believe, the Black is Black, that's what it's called, and I'm going to just do the top coat of my top lashes. I have the top layer of my film, um, mascara on, and I'm kind of just like waiting for my like bake to happen. Um, Next, I'm going to be going into my waterline, and I think I'm going to use a blue color. So I just bought this Jordana, um, it's called Sterling Blue Retractable Pencil for your eyes. It's an eyeliner, and I love Jordana, like, 
eyeliners. I feel like they're so bomb. I've had this color actually for a while now and it's a really nice turquoisey, really kind of sky bluish kind of color. Whereas this one is a little more metallic-y. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, and but it's I like this one because I feel like this one is darker, so it kind of goes more subtle with the purple. So I'm going to use this right on my waterline. Okay, and so I have that nice little blue tint, which I'm like loving right now. It's so cute. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start dusting off this um, bake because, I mean, I'm not trying to have like this crazy highlight. Um, and so I'm just using that same like Urban Glow, <clears throat> whoa, Urban Glow brush and just buffing away any of that like uh, loose powder um, and I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and get those bottom lashes okay and so because I don't wear falsies I'm gonna actually go back on top of my mascara especially my top layer or my top lashes and I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversions um, mascara and I love this mascara the wand first of all is bomb I don't know if you can see that um, but yeah I just really pack on the mascara okay so my mascara is done my um, eyeliner is done I was gonna do a wing line but I just kind of feel like I want for the purple to stand out by itself and to just be bold by itself and so what I'm gonna do to finish my look off is go back in with like blushes and highlighters because that is my fave um, <laughs> so um, I actually have this blush that is from Sephora and it is a purple color. This is in color out of control and um, it's kind of like a creamy kind of consistency a little bit and it appears like really purple. So um, I think I'm going to use a stippling brush and apply this. I have this really small one here from e.l.f. and um, I'm going to just swirl it around in that purple get that product all on the brush and kind of just stipple it in like on top of my contour a little bit I'm kind of doing like petting motions a little bit this smells really good kind of like grapes which <laughs> is funny Okay, and so next I'm going to actually start highlighting, which is my favorite thing. Um, so what I've been using lately, of course, is the Ruby Kisses highlighter. Uh, this is like more of a bronzer highlighter because it's a like nice, rich, bronzy gold color. Um, but it's such metallic-y and sparkly that I wouldn't use it as a bronzer because it's not matte enough. Um, but it's a great highlighter. Um, it makes you have like this goddess glow. And I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct as well as the highlighter portion of my like cheek area and also my cupid's bow and down the bridge of my nose so for my inner tear duct area I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush from that same urban glow um, brand and I got that from Marshalls and I'm just kind of covering the entire like it's more of like a pencil brush I'm covering the entire brush and just gonna start putting it right in the middle or my inner tear duct Okay, and it's like bow, right? And so um, I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk brush from that same like holiday collection, and I'm just going to pick up some of that product and whew, put it right kind of here just to highlight on top of that blush and give me a really strobing glow. And I kind of make a little bit of a C, put it right in there as well, kind of like on top of the brow. <clears throat> and let's see. And then down the bridge of my nose. Like I use too much. <laughs> and then right on the tip of my nose and then a little bit on the cupid's bow area 
just I just tap whatever I have like left I don't pick up more because it can be excessive and so I'm using this Sonia Kasha brush that I kind of use sometimes for concealer and everything but I'm gonna use it to blend out that like harsh line of um, bronzer Oh my god, can you hear my dog snoring? And then for my inner tear duct to blend that out, I'm going to go in with the um, eyeshadow brush that I use, the purple, and just kind of blend that on top. So it's like a little more subtle and I usually love to go on top with this Sonia Kashuk brush It's really fat and fluffy um just to kind of blend all of that stuff together so my concealer I mean my contour color my blush color and the highlight and I kind of just blend them together so it's way more subtle hopefully Okay, and so next we're going to do lip color, and I'm like almost done pretty much. Um, so the newest color that I purchased is from Milani, and this is the summer kind of spring uh, makeup look that I came up with. And the lips, because I didn't get a chance to film it because my camera died. Um, <laughs> I have one, like I was saying previously, the Jordana uh, Lip Liner in baby berry so it's a really nice like mauve kind of color like a really kind of rich red brick red mixed with brown type color and the lipstick that I applied is this one from Milani and it's that really nice rich pinky mauve color and it's called Uptown Mauve and so I applied that all over the lip I actually applied the lip liner all over the lip as well just to give it kind of like you know one kind of color tone because my lips sometimes are two different tones like it'll be like a really light kind of pinkish brown color and then you'll see some darker brown too so um, just to give it that whole holistic color and then on top of that I put this gloss which is from Nika K I ended up picking this one and this is in color morning glory and Nika K stuff you can get from your local like drugstore, like your no, your local beauty supply stores. So yeah, this is the look. <laughs> and my hair is just natural. I kind of put some, I put some um, what's this stuff called? Um, uh, Carol's daughter. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. I put some Carol's daughter. Um, the vanilla one, the lavender vanilla. Um conditioner spray anyway I put that in my hair and I put some tea tree oil in it and I kind of just like massage it in my scalp and just kind of loosen my curls because um, I laid it on them and they were all flat and ugly when I woke up so and I didn't want to wash my hair because I've been over washing it but this is the look for the day I hope that you guys enjoyed um, definitely a process also set my face with setting spray which I don't think you guys saw which is from NYX um, this is the matte finish um long lasting setting spray i'm running out i like literally ran out of pretty much all of my setting sprays so um but yeah this is it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please like my video if you did in so thank you guys for watching my video please like if you did enjoy watching this video and if you love these color combinations and also um, subscribe to my channel let people know about my channel I'm um, trying to venture out there and let people know that I actually have a YouTube channel so um, but yeah uh, also follow me on snapchat I snap all the time and even if I don't create a video for the looks that I do or for outfits that I have created or whatever um, then I will snapchat about it I usually do like an outfit a day kind of on snapchat and so my snapchat is rg mode just rg m-o-d-e that's how you can find me thanks again for watching